In last week's video I was working on this welding rotator and this is where we got so far. But, but nothing. Let's continue. This is the space more or less where this motor will live. But before I start uh, installing this thing, first I would like to address a little issue. I think I need to make some diagonals here to prevent the thing from doing this, which could be a little bit stupid. So I will use a piece of my old video. To hold the part in place I want to uh, weld up, what I would like to do, of course this thing comes in here and is held on with two uh, set screws, so what I would like to do is weld in this bolt here, it's a left hand thread, it's a bit special, so weld in and then make a center point. And I suppose to do that it would be better if I disassemble the thing. And I think it comes out that way. I will take it apart and I come back. And I managed to get it out. The ideal should be of course to weld this thing up is to use a welding rotator, but Looks like someone left here a little air bubble in the weld. That's okay. Let's give it a little clean. Okay, good enough. Looking good so far. All I need now is to make a bracket to hold. Wait. I already have. All I need to do is to
All right. I think it looks homemade. Now I have to find a way to connect this little outcoming shaft here to this bigger incoming shaft here. And I think... I just cut off this bracket here, but if I mount it this way, first of all it will look stupid with this little piece on here and it has to come a little bit further out to be in line. So this way should be ideal because here's this little bump thingy here, a little bit higher. So. Normally there's a little key here in this slot, but it is a very tight fit in this pulley. So for the moment I will not install it, but of course the final assembly I will. And so I managed to clean up this uh, center thing up here and I made a little washer to keep it all in place. Alright, to make the smaller uh, sprocket gear, I, I don't know how you call this, that's not a problem. To make this one, I'm gonna make myself because I have, but the smallest one is 17 teeth. It's a bit too big. I would like to have it 10. 10 because I already calculated how much and how big, of course. And on this little shaft here, there's a taper. And I found a little piece of something with already a hole in it. This is an 8mm hole. So all that's left to do is cut this taper in here. After a little bit of Google and calculations, I determined that this taper is 21.8 degrees. And because the hole is really small, I will use my little bar for thread cutting to cut this uh, taper. And then cut it off and then cut a round thingy here out of this plate, weld it together and then cut the teeth in it and let's do this. There's a little bit of wiggle in my taper here, <coughs> so I have to change. Okay, after a little bit of playing with the angle settings here, I think we're getting somewhere. There still is a little bit of wiggle, but because there's a striation here in this taper, I think it will print it in and it will work. To cut the teeth in my future pinion gear here, I will do it here on the milling machine using a dividing head because I have one so why not I made a little slug with a 8mm hole in here that fits in my collet and on this thing I can install this one 
and my future gear will become one bolted together. So now I can drill three holes and tap and then bolt these two parts here together and then I will be ready to cut the teeth. I made two mistakes in one part. The nut to hold the whole thing here together comes of course here on top. And these three little screws I installed here are too close. So the nut, it's a bit hard to show, but the nut doesn't really fit in here. So of course I cannot spin the nut in relationship to this little part. And even worse, the thief could look more or less good, but the chain doesn't fit. Well, I'm gonna do it again. The chain doesn't fit in the thief. So I have somewhere messed up my measurements, I don't know what happened. So this becomes a piece of scrap again and I think it's time to go and cut out I mean this one. I made a new one. This one is 17 teeth original gear thing so normally this one should fit. And to prevent the nut from gripping this little bolts in here I gave it a little bit of shoulder on the plate. That works. I suppose all that's left to do now is to make a little loop with this chain here.
I'm having a little bit of hard time putting this chain on because I think it's just a little bit too short and my bracket idea is maximum height. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna loosen this thing here. That's good. Let's give this thing some 12 volt and see if it spins. Crocodiles and bananas. Here goes nothing. I think it works great. I think it looks promising so far. Of course, now I have to make the tailstock that can move and it will hold the part here between centers and make a cover which will also probably stiffen up the thing here because now but that will be in another video